I'm Rico Hizon in Singapore. The headlines. France deploys more search teams to the Indian Ocean to look for missing flight MH370. The threat of storms, severe floods, and now mass evacuation as Typhoon Sudalore nears Taiwan. I'm Kasia Madeira in London. The race is on. Republican Party's top candidates prepare to battle it out in a televised debate. Um, your coffee? Thank you, Uncle. Thank okay. you. Much I'm okay. Yeah, not bad, not oh, bad. Weather very hot, man. And do you know your wow lao from your bland jar? We take to the streets of Singapore to learn a little street English. Live from our studios in Singapore and London. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. Hello everyone, it's 6 in the morning or 7 in the morning here in Singapore and France is sending additional search teams to look for debris from flight MH370 around Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. Extra ships and aircraft will be deployed on Friday. There will also be increased foot patrols along the island's coastline. And this comes after French experts said it was highly likely that a piece of wing recovered in Reunion was from the missing airliner. The Malaysian government has gone a step further, saying that the tests were conclusive confirmation that the wreckage was from MH370. It has also been reported that aircraft seat cushions and window panes have been recovered, but this has not yet been confirmed. The confusion has angered Chinese relatives of the missing passengers who have called for clarity on the issue. Our correspondent Jennifer Pak was given an exclusive interview with the Malaysian Transport Minister Liu Tiong Lai, and she began by asking why he was so sure the wreckage was from MH370. 